Social media marketing is harder than ever these days. You need to know how to create quality content and then post that content to a variety of different apps, making sure that each of your posts matches the tone and aesthetic of each one. With social media moving at the speed of light, you need a platform that makes it easy to create engaging posts, manage your social calendar, and monitor each of your channels. Thankfully, there's HubSpot. So to get started, you actually need to connect your social accounts to HubSpot. To do so, in the top right, we're going to click this gear icon, which will take you into your account settings. Then on the left-hand side, we're gonna scroll down to the tools area, locate the marketing drop-down menu, and then click social. This will take you into your social settings. Now on this account, we see that there is a Facebook and Twitter account already connected. If you were just getting started or needed to connect another account, you'd navigate to the connect accounts button and then select the corresponding network that you're trying to connect with HubSpot. From here, once you click one of these buttons, it's going to ask for your login credentials so that you can authenticate and allow HubSpot to post on your behalf. And then the connection is so instant that you can immediately start posting. So to create a post and start using the social tool, First, navigate to the marketing drop-down menu and then select social. This will bring us into the social tool. Now here we see that it has a very similar layout to the rest of the Marketing Hub features. So we have our Manage tab, which is going to allow us to see what currently is being drafted and maybe worked on by our team. Any posts that were unsuccessful, which means that they encountered a sync error or you may need to re-authenticate and re-log in to that network using your credentials. Anything that's currently scheduled to go out and anything that's been successfully published to your various social channels. What's interesting here is you also have this ability to visualize when different posts are going out to make sure that you're hitting your posting schedule, you're not over posting or under posting on any particular channel, and that anything really aligns with any launches that you have coming up. Then you have this monitor tab, which can be really helpful to see who's at mentioning you across the various networks. So you can currently do that on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And this could be really interesting if you're trying to drive one-to-one -one engagement with certain followers, or really just have those moments of delight where you're having those one-to-one -one engagements and really having fun interaction across your community. Community. Then you have this analyze tab. Now this analyze tab is going to be your be all end all when it comes to social reporting, because it's going to give you access and insight into key metrics such as interactions, clicks, shares, really those key metrics that are going to help you evaluate your social posts and what's really resonating across the different networks. It's also going to give you that high level overview of how well your social strategy is helping you drive marketing performance and hit those marketing goals. So it's a great way to get a sense of a lot of various insights about your social network and what is working and what is not with your social strategy. But say we just want to create a social post. To do so, navigate to the create social post button in the top right. This is going to take us directly into our social posts editor. Now this editor is really interesting because it allows you to cross post to various networks very quickly, which can save you so much time if you're working on a single consolidated campaign. Now at the top, you're going to select the networks you want to post to. And then in this draft area, you can start to create your engaging copy and add your media in and then see how that iterates across your various networks. This can be really helpful because it will show you how a single draft can be adapted to the various networks and the various jobs to be done that those networks are doing for their audience. So we all know that different audiences go to different networks to see different types of content. So you can take a single post and really start to massage it to fit the needs of your individual audiences across the different networks. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? We have a ton of tutorials just like this one that cover best practices, technical tips, and more. Just be sure to hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't want to miss the amazing content content we have coming your way. Another great thing about this editor is it also comes with that AI assistant. So say you're looking at this, it's the end of the day and you just need to get a social post out and your creative juices are just gone. Well, AI assistant can help you start to craft really fun copy really quickly. So say for example, we work for a popcorn company and we're just trying to get a post out about National Popcorn Day. We just enter in our prompt and then click generate and AI Assistant is going to give us some fun copy that if we don't want to use one-to-one -one is totally fine, but it at least gives us a foundation where we could start, especially if we're feeling blank and we, we don't have any of that creativity with us right now. Now, what you'll see here is how this starts to correspond with the various character limits. So it seems like we're totally fine when it comes to posting this to Facebook or if 
if we wanted to adapt that to an Instagram channel, but we may need to do some work if we're going to post this directly to Twitter. So it's going to give us how much we're actually over our character limit. So we can start to delete and make sure that we're able to post this in a single kind of consolidated way, in a way that aligns across our different channels while also being successful and not going over any of our limits. So making small adjustments, we're able to turn anything on Facebook into something that could be adapted to Twitter so it could be posted successfully. Here it's also interesting because you can add any additional images. We all know that social is a very visual marketing channel. And that goes for most of the social channels in general. So we can add images, we can add videos if we have short, fun videos that we want to add just to make our content stand out a little bit more on the various timelines. Similar to the email tool, we also have the option to publish now or schedule for later, which can be really helpful if you're juggling a lot of things and you just want to get some of your assets completely done and ready to go. You can set specific dates and specific times and even adapt some of your defaults to publish on specific specific minutes so it looks like you did publish those posts live, get a little bit more human with your social touch. Additionally, you can associate any of your social posts directly with a campaign, which is going to be really important from a reporting standpoint later on if you have assets that are supporting a single promotional push. Once we're feeling good about how our creative looks on both Facebook or Twitter, we can go to our review tab. Now the review tab is going to help you understand what is in each of your posts, when it's scheduled to go out, and the campaign that it's associated with. You can also choose this preview option to see how it would natively look on the platform that you're posting to. So that could be, again, a great way to just make sure that everything is rendering as expected. Then when you're done reviewing each of your posts, you can go up and either post now if that's your scheduling option or just click schedule and it will tell you when each of those posts is set to go out. See? Easy peasy, all from one single tool. So that was like a whole bunch of tools, but they're all available to you at HubSpot's Marketing Hub. And it's so easy to just get started. Just head to HubSpot.com to sign up for your free account or click the link in the description below. And to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Jory from HubSpot and thanks for watching.